Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're taking a look in on the DIY stacked bin. And if you remember, we fed melon last time. Melon that had already been frozen, and yet here we are. We're getting a bunch of muskmelons. I don't have any room in my garden for a bunch of cantaloupe or muskmelon, so this is just going to become extra food for the bin. That's crazy. Kind of take a, a look in here and see what the top is doing. You can kind of still smell the melon a little bit. I don't see, well, let's see what I've got here. Oh, avocado. There we go. Worm ball in the avocado. Nice, right? They're probably thinking, not nice, leave us alone. I'm trying to eat. But that was a, a whole one that had been bad when I got it. So they are getting the full protein and oils and everything. Getting their omega-3s this time. Looking around, I, st I don't see any food left except for that avocado. Yep, nope, just what's left in the avocado. That's all the food I see in here. All right, let's get you set down and then we'll take a look at the next two layers. Here we go, layer number two. Now we cleaned out this layer and the bottom layer last time because it had become too mucky wet. Looks like everybody's pretty happy in here. Still smells good. Smells normal. No sign of it being anaerobic or anything. And now for the next one. I'll link up here to the last time we had anything to do with this spin. But I put coconut coir down here, very dry, and uh, let's see what we've got. Or no, not coir, leaves. And it's not horrible wet underneath here, but you can tell that even though I moved the worms out, they're back. Yeah, this is supposed to be the equivalent of the drain end for the bin, but the worms seem to get down here no matter what I do. The hole on the bottom of that second layer is only a sixteenth of an inch, so because they get down here anyway, I want to provide them with food and living conditions when they do get down here. So looks like they haven't got all the bedding used up yet and it's not too wet so I'm gonna put them back together and I think I'm gonna feed the middle this time okay we've got a work bag here it's just been hanging out in the basement for a couple weeks you can tell the coffee is really moldy I don't know what else is in here paper coffee coffee grounds tea bags I don't even see the obligatory banana. Somebody's not eating their fruit. Alright, so <clears throat> that's going to be the feeding that I'm going to give them for this week. And then I'm going to put it back together. Okay. So let me put that underneath there. And we'll take the forest or bouquet of melon seed seedlings and we'll bury that under there so they can eat that too okay well that's it for this bin today 
If you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.